Welcome into episode 17 here on the BFF realm. And in the background, I've started some work on roads. Uh, the road is the, I wanted to do an asphalt, but not super dark, a little aged. And I've kind of settled on this uh, mud. It actually it kind of matches uh, like a worn down texture through the night. The other thing I've done in behind the scenes is I've AFK'd at my iron farm for about two in life days. <laughs> uh, I'm using anvils as the train tracks and anybody that's ever designed or decorated with a ton of anvils, uh, anvils take a lot of iron, <laughs> especially when you're doing in bulk. So um, I've got like a full double chest of uh, iron blocks now for for uh, for anvils. So the next thing to do is I'm going to start with the train first. The train's going to go here and then we're going to work on Sandra's balloon up in the sky. Uh, the train in town is not a commuter train anymore. It hasn't been a commuter train Oh my, probably since like the 70s? It's been a long time. Anyway, so now it's just a freight train. So um, I found a gentleman online and I'm going to copy his build. And it's just going to be a block for block. So I'm not going to like show you while I do it. But his name is Crafty Fox with an E. And I will link his description in, er, in the comments. Uh, yeah, he does an amazing job here of picking like exact details down um he does it in creative so there's some blocks that he uses like uh, bedrock that i'm not gonna be able to get but for the most part uh the train the caboose will be like yeah i'm just gonna put the caboose like right at the edge of the road the train will the train tracks will cross the road here and cycle up that side of the island so yeah i'll leave the caboose just off the road but the next thing you'll see is probably the, the train completely done. So yeah, there's, I'm not going to show me uh, copying his build step by step. Uh, let's just do a magical cut and the train will be there when I turn around. <laughs> and here's the train. Look at how quick that happened. Uh, yeah. So this is my first time kind of copying a creative build. And I've done a couple of things that are different from his his uh, strict tutorial. Little things like he had hoppers for wheels, and I put in grindstones instead. And uh, he had a couple of banners on the side of this train. Now this train was specifically copied from a movie, I think, and has some significance. But to me, it doesn't. I don't understand the significance of it. But um, it, it's it looks like a train to me. The other things I've done differently is he made his in creative and there was uh, bedrock in these spots and I put um, cobble deep slate and his walls were solid and I put a couple of uh, light sources in behind to, to come th shine through the partial blocks. So this is actually lit up at night too and I've, I've hid some lights in underneath the stuff as well in different places. But no, I'm pretty happy. It looks like a train. It looks like a real train. And I would never ever come up with anything like this by myself. So I'm going to include some custom vehicle. Like um, the next thing we're doing is we're going to make a hot air balloon. And Sandra's balloon is going to be taking off from the field. So uh, when you're launching a balloon, it's also tethered to a, a vehicle for weight for takeoff. So I think we're going to have, uh, we'll have put Sandra's uh, pickup truck in the picture here too. But I'm thinking we'll have Sandra taken off right about here somewhere. Hopefully just out of the shade from their balloons. But uh, yeah, we'll put her, her balloon in here. It's going to be a, actually a little bit smaller than these ones. These ones are 55 and I think hers will be 47 for a diameter. 47 or maybe even 45 it's going to be a bit smaller because in reality these are like 105s and her balloon is a much smaller it's like a 65 i believe 
don't quote me on the exact numbers. But yeah, uh, I'm going to work on Sandra's balloon and we'll come back while I'm building it and we'll talk a bit more about Sandra. But yeah, let's look at the train at night really quick. I think it looks more like a train from a distance. But uh, putting some of these lights in, like uh, there's lights hiding behind those staircases right there to shine through. I put some lights inside of the cab to shine through the glass and some underneath. So it's pretty well lit up. And as the world progresses, I'll keep adding uh, like cars to the back of the train. But yeah, that's enough with the train. Uh, let's get into Sandra's build. Uh, last we were on, we were building the train. And since then, it's been raining a lot. Um, and I've started the balloon. Um, I'll try to put it up on screen now. And I feel like I'm doing like uh, a not very good job at making this. But it's a, it's a, it's a goofy balloon. Uh, I've got my cat ears up top. Uh, I've got the start of the baseball cap. And the perspective is up because I'm lower than the hat. But I could probably make the red a little bit lower. I'm working on the, the googly eyes, and then he'll have little rabbit teeth. And then around back, which I don't think is on any pitch, picture, is kind of the explanation as to the balloon. Um, there's a red banner on back, and it says uh, Aphasia Warrior. And that is something that we will talk about here in a second. But I wanted to talk about the build first, and we'll come back after it's done. But... Um, uh, so the build actually has a representation of a white pickup truck, which would be actually Sandra's uh, chase balloon or chase truck. Uh, there's eyelashes on the, the headlights that I couldn't figure out how to do. <laughs> uh, this again is a tutorial build by the same gentleman that did the train, and uh, his his name will be in the description. But um, they use her pickup truck, or Sandra uses her pickup truck as the anchor for the balloon. So I figured this balloon could be on the field warm, ready to launch, uh, or hot, ready to launch. And uh, it would actually be tethered to a ground strap. And I guess we could put that in with like chain or something to the, the trailer hitch. But um, yeah, that's, this is the balloon. It's called Lofany. And Lofany is an anagram I believe it stands for Leftover Fabric Nominal Investment. <laughs> so uh, Bill made this for Sandra uh, with a bunch of leftover fabric. And that's kind of where the name come from, comes from. But uh, I'm going to keep working on this off camera. I think it's a, it's a hard thing to, to do on camera. It's a little bit sketchy. But yeah, the, uh, the other appendages are, he's got little buck teeth, and then his baseball cap, the, the brim, hangs off the back of the balloon. But this is the balloon of one Miss Sandra Rolf, and that's who I want to talk about today. So Sandra is the longtime partner of Bill Wayland, who uh, does the Canada A balloon. Uh, and Sandra is uh, one of the most amazing people I've ever met. So let's talk pre and post. So pre, and we'll get to it. So pre, uh, Sandra was uh, an economist, I believe for the government of Canada in Ottawa. Very smart, very driven, very uh, appreciated in her field. A very smart lady. As well as that, uh, on her, in her hobbies, Sandra had, I believe, three, at least three world records that I know of, uh, flying uh, duration female and flying altitude, or time, duration and time, I believe, for, uh, for uh, a woman pilot. Uh, simply amazing things that she did while flying. And then I don't want to get too much into her personal story, um, something that she hasn't made public anyways. But uh, Sandra one day went to the gym after work and did a workout. And all of a sudden didn't feel too good after the workout. So she and Bill decided maybe it's just best to go lie down for the evening. And... Um, 
see how you feel in the morning. Something that uh, probably 99% of all the other humans would do, right? You're not feeling too good. Maybe you worked out a little bit too hard. Uh, just go sleep it off and see how you feel in the morning. Well, in the morning for Sandra was a stroke. They didn't realize, uh, I believe she actually went to the hospital and they sent her home. She, um, they didn't realize that she was having a stroke at the time. So when she woke up in the morning, uh, it was a straight trip to the hospital. Um, uh, emergency brain surgery, stroke, uh, and uh, a severe life change. Like uh, it's not something you can easily forget. It's not something you can easily change from. Um, Sandra, her life changed in that day for better or worse. But now, um, so uh, what happened to Sandra was she woke up in the hospital uh, several weeks later. Uh, my wife and her sister had flown out to be with Bill and Sandra. And um, yeah, so what happened is with a stroke is you end up part of your brain dies and half of your body that's the opposite of the brain that was a side of the brain that was affected becomes completely um, inoperable, which is pretty common. The more uncommon side effect is the fact that your hemisphere of the brain that controls speech loses the ability to make connections with its memories. Uh, and I know I'm not saying this exactly right, but Sandra also, aside from a stroke, suffered severely from aphasia so for her her brain still works like she still had full cognition full sense full use of her her faculties but her body couldn't say the word that her brain was trying to think of so just picture that where you have no use of half of your body and now you can't communicate. So it's been a very hard struggle. So because of that, the doctors all said, you know, she'll never talk again. She'll never walk again. She'll never drive again. She'll never fly a balloon again. Uh, it'll be palliative, palliative care. And, you know, there's no hope of this. There's no hope of that. Well, this is where, to me, Sandra is a, a superhuman. Forget about these sports players who make millions of dollars or these actors who act in a 20 minute film. Sandra went to a couple of clinics, yes, and got some help, but virtually on her own and with the help of Bill daily in the amount of, uh, uh, and I'm sorry if for the time wise, but I think this is in like 18. So this is five, six years ago now she now has not only her driver's license she can walk mostly with a walker or a cane and she has an electric scooter too but she can walk she can talk she has her driver's license again and she's flying a hot air balloon again so f for all those doctors who doted on sandra um yeah she's a pretty strong lady so, in honor of Sandra, I've been working on this balloon, um, and I would say if anybody has the chance to see Sandra in real life, she would be the person that you would want to get a signature from. So if you ever get to see her at a festival, go up to her and ask her for her signature. But that's enough for that for now. Um, let me get this balloon done, and we'll talk a bit more about the amazing Sandra Rolfe. Well, as it turns the night here, let's uh, let's switch today and we'll talk a bit more about Sandra's balloon. Uh, I've worked on the back of it, so it's uh, a bit more accurate. Uh, it says aphasia warrior on the back. Now, I think in reality, this is actually right down near the bottom, but you would never be able to see it. And even up here, it's hard to read. Uh, the text is four high and it's just kind of hard to read. Uh, if you can see, there is a brim on the back of the hat. 
just a flat peak. So the, the blue one has all the, the major deals. It's got the, the baseball cap. It's got the kitty ears on the top. The cat ears, the googly eyes, and the buck teeth. Uh, there's aphasia warrior written on the front of the ball cap. I don't think you would actually be able to see that. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But yeah. So um, I've been thinking about it. in the description of the video too. I'm going to link a couple of news articles about Sandra. Um, she's got so many more accomplishments than I can list here. Like they said, there's the th what three world records, and then there's like fifty-seven or something Canadian records. It's just unbelievable what she's accomplished and what she's going to accomplish in, in the future. Um, I believe Bill has made her a new uh, racing balloon that they're going to try to do uh, to increase her world record or to re I think recapture our, our world record for duration. So it's just it just blew every time I see Sandra. Uh, it could be months between or it could be a year between festivals that I get the chance to see her, and just to see the progression that she's taught herself. Like I said, it's. The struggle between your body not being able to do something and then your your force of will teaching your body or reteaching your body how to do something it's it's unbelievable what she's being able to accomplish just truly uh, truly amazing so I think I might pick away and change a couple of details on this over time. But I'm pretty happy with how... I mean, it's Minecraft, right? It's it's a block game. Is that a truck? Maybe, maybe not. To me, that looks like a pickup truck. And that looks like a train. That looks like a train station. And uh, this looks like Lofany. With his big buck teeth. <laughs> So yeah, at, uh, again, again, these build episodes probably come across as a lot shorter in uh, in reality than they, they took to make. But um, yeah, this was kind of new to me. I'd never done anything like this. I've got an entire chest of blocks I needed to, <laughs> to, to build this. So uh, remaking something like this block for block uh, is something I had never done. It's kind of fun. And uh, trying to uh, give the world some of Sandra's story to maybe somebody that hasn't seen it or heard it before. Uh, that's kind of why I'm doing all this. So uh, next episode, uh, let's take a break from doing buildings and balloons. And I'm going to go off in the distance here, uh, out of render distance, probably a couple hundred blocks. And I need to make an industrial area. Uh, I, I need blocks, I need farms, I need mending here. Uh, and I need to remake it all in a handier area. So anyway, yeah, um, thank you for listening to me talk about Sandra. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. <laughs>